Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next Royal Take previewing the game against the Wooster Railers tonight for our Reading Royals that is back at home on a Flyers Friday, and everyone's probably listening to the great Dave Schultz, the Hammer, right now, uh, talking to them um, about the game. Well, not the game, but about his career and any questions they have for him. But, of course, the Royals beat the Wooster Railers on December 31st. Unfortunately, lost them 5-3 to three after having a couple leads, not being able to hold them on January 2nd. But the play's been good of late. They beat Anirondack after losing Anirondack on the 10th. They beat them on the 29th. I mean, our Royals haven't had a lot of hockey recently. They beat, if we go back to the beginning of the month <clears throat> of December, they lost to Newfoundland 4-2, to two, then beat them 3-1 to one and 4-2 to two themselves. Lost Anirondack 4-1, to which is December 10th. Didn't play again until December 29th, which they beat Anirondack 5-4. to Then they beat, of course, Wooster on the 31st, excuse me, I almost said the 21st, and then lost to them on the 2nd of January. So now we're coming in the 7th of January, uh, playing Wooster again as the Wheeling Nailers game, of course, that was supposed to take place during the week, got postponed as well, that the Reading Royals was supposed to take place, and so now it's about beating, uh, responding to Wooster like they did against Newfoundland and Anirondack. They lost at first to Newfoundland at the beginning of the month, beat them twice. They lost to Anirondack on the 10th, beat them 5-4 to four in a very hard-fought win um, on the 29th of December to round out the, the year, to round out 2021, and then... They come in and beat Wooster 2 nothing and shut them out as well. Now it's about responding to them, responding to you. Wooster responded to the Reading Royals last game. They lost 2 nothing. They came in, were able to respond not just from losing 2 nothing, but during that particular game. They were down two times and came back against our Reading Royals uh, to be able to, to win that game. And that's something you don't really want to see. You don't want to be going up and then blowing leads in that aspect, but the Royals have been resilient, they've been a very good bunch to use the word resilient with this year, or bounce back, whatever you want to use, because they already have done it against Newfoundland, and they've done it against Santa Ronda, where they lost them, and then taken them down, so now it's about responding and taking down Wooster um, yet again, <clears throat> after losing them, where if we look at the team comparisons, Wooster has 10 more goals scored, 72-62 to 62 for the Reading Royals, um, they also have one more shorthanded goal, 2-1, to one, according to ECHL.com. And the power play percentage is better for our Reading Royals. That's up that 24% now, where for Wooster, it's all the way down at 17%. And the penalty kill percentage is a little bit better for our Reading Royals as well. That's up at 73%. Uh, for Wooster, it's 70%. Uh, Wooster's a team, though, they do give up. <clears throat> a lot of goals. They almost gave up 90 goals in the season thus far, 86. So they should be a team that Reading, they only scored two goals in the game they won. Uh, this is a team they really should be able to score more on. Reading's only given up 71 goals, to put that in perspective. Wooster's almost at 90. Their defense has been, plus some goaltending woes, have been a struggle bunny issue for the Wooster Railers, where it's been much better in that aspect for Reading, particularly the goaltending aspect. Kote Kazanabe was fine in his debut. Pat Nagel's been a beast. Went down the goaltending aspect. Hayden Hawkey's been all right. So the goaltending aspect's been fine uh, for Reading. Obviously, they've been moving out. David Drake moved on. They've been moving in some other defensemen and what have you. But I think the Reading Royals defense is going to continue to get better, um, where it's going to be interesting to see what happens <clears throat> uh, with Wooster going forward. But I definitely think the Reading Royals defense is going to continue to get better as time goes on. And it does seem to be getting stronger from the forward court back as time goes on as well. Now it's just about responding. You lost to Wooster um, last game. Now it's about responding to them just like we responded against <clears throat> the Newfoundland Growlers, and against the Anirondack Thunder. When they beat us, we came right back and beat them. Um, this is a game that is going to be a hard fart game. Any division game, no matter how bad the division opponent is struggling on that given season, we just saw it last game. They battled back against us and were able to win the game, the Wooster Railers, 5-3. Uh, so to three. so um, no matter what, a division game is going to be a hard-fought battle. It's a game that the Reading Royals should be able to win, though, because they should be able to play a much more cleaner game. They should have been able to win that game realistically on the second if they could have just held a lead. But they should be able to play a much cleaner game Therefore, leading to a win. Wooster, you got to just pressure them. Just jam them like they did in that first game in the neutral zone. Piss them off. Pressure them. Get the offense going. Because they don't have the most squeakiest clean offense either. And their defense is suspect. So as long as you can start pressuring them and getting into the other zone, uh, you will be perfectly fine. And this should be a win for, win for the Reading Royals. So this has been the latest edition of the Royal Take as we are previewing the game 
against Wooster tonight since I'm about an hour, 50, 50 minutes to an hour out from Reading. I didn't go up to cover the game due to safety concerns with driving back with the ice, but I'll be watching it from home on Flow Hockey just as the rest of you all are watching it from home on Flow Hockey and watching it at the game. Please enjoy the game. Please continue to subscribe down below to show us your love and support and help us get to the goal of 195 by the end of February or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Go Royals! Let's bring that win to Reading and beat those Wooster Railroads after they were able to get us last game. Peace out, everybody.